This is our third video in our Beginner's Guide to Embroidery mini-series. We're going to dive in and talk about some needles. Welcome everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. As I mentioned, this is our Beginner's Guide to Embroidery mini-series. We've already covered choosing a machine and stabilizers, so let's start talking about some needles. Before we begin, if you could please take a moment to like and subscribe, that way you'll get notified of any future video that we have. The very first thing that you want to do is grab your instruction manual. There's always a page that gives you the manufacturer's recommendation. My Baby Lock Verve recommends a size 11 embroidery needle. A size 11 is pretty standard with embroidery. I am a really big fan of Schmetz needles, so that's my brand of choice, but many different brands are available. Some common ones are Organ, Classe, and Singer, just to name a few. With needles, there are all sorts of different kinds. Universal, leather, sharp, stretch, again, just to name a few. Among that list, you can select an embroidery needle. To help you understand why you choose an embroidery needle over a different needle, I want to show you a breakdown. Here's a picture showing the anatomy of a needle, but we're going to focus on the tip and the eye. This great little pamphlet demonstrates the embroidery needle having a lighter ball point than the universal, and it also has a wide eye and groove. The wide eye and groove will help prevent friction, allowing trouble-free stitching. Embroidery needles work great with rayon, polyester, and specialty threads. Although the embroidery needle can accommodate specialty threads like metallic thread, when using metallic thread, I do specifically like to use a metallic needle. The reason being is that in addition to a wider eye, it also has an elongated eye. With that design, the thread goes through more easily and avoids thread breakage. Also, I do like to bump up the size from an 11 to a 14. That too helps avoid thread breakage. You can also look at getting something like these Schmetz embroidery gold needles. The gold needle option has a similar description as the embroidery needle. However, the gold needles have a ceramic coating on them. The coating resists sticking and friction. This is beneficial because oftentimes with embroidery, you use an adhesive spray. You know how sometimes it'll kind of gunk up on your needle? These needles specifically help with that problem. The titanium also helps with wear so your needles will last longer. Another great option are the chrome embroidery needles. They resist heat and they too resist wear so your needle's going to last longer. And the chrome also stays cooler longer to help reduce friction and stitch distortion. Are you seeing a pattern when it comes to embroidery needles? They're specifically designed to help make your embroidery project hassle-free. Let's talk about changing out your needle. How often should you do that? It's usually recommended to either change it at the beginning of every project or about every eight hours of embroidering. Unless you're using a metallic thread, then it is recommended to change it about every four hours of embroidery time. That's because metallic thread is pretty hard on the needle, so they wear quickly. Another thing you have to keep in mind is if you're using a heavier fabric like a denim, a size 11 needle is not going to work well. In that case, I'd bump up to at least a size 14. Also, if you're using knit fabric, you want to use a ballpoint needle. The ballpoint needle has a tip that is slightly rounded. It pushes the knitted fibers to the side versus piercing them. The special design helps eliminate skip stitches. When embroidering, a good time to use a sharp needle is when you are using a water-soluble stabilizer. You want your needle to be able to pierce through easily without ripping it. I would suggest having several of these different options on hand. That way you have recourse in case one doesn't work well or it's just not doing it for you. Also, always test on scraps of fabric that are similar to what you will be working on. You don't want to stitch it all out and it's all wonky and weird. Needles can be a little bit overwhelming at first. I hope this information has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You're welcome to comment below or if you go to sewingpartsonline.com, we have a contact form. Just fill that out and any one of our representatives will be happy to help you. If you've not yet seen our other videos in this mini series, be sure to check those out. Like I said, it's on choosing a machine and stabilizers. There's a lot of good information in there. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to check back for our fourth video, which is going to be on embroidery thread. Until next time.